Yes. Ever wondered how a simple stroll could take you through multiple countries? Or how a single street can be both Dutch and Belgian simultaneously? Well, today, we're delving deep into a geographical puzzle that will leave you astonished. Welcome to LifeLens TV, the channel that brings you the world through a unique perspective. I'm Adam and the director of this video is Peter Tosh Williams, and today, we're embarking on a journey to explore a place where national borders are anything but ordinary. This is the fascinating Barla Hertog and Barla Nassau border complex, a place where countries and borders entwine like never before. Let's unravel the mystery, piece by piece. But before we dive in, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss out on our exciting journeys around the world. Now let's get started. Nestled in the heart of Europe, the Barla Hertog and Barla Nassau border complex is a truly unique geographical enigma. Here, the countries of Belgium and the Netherlands dance to their own peculiar border tune. The town of Barla Hertog is a Belgian municipality, and right next to it, you have the Dutch municipality of Barla Nassau. Now you might think that's pretty straightforward, but it's anything but. What makes this place so extraordinary is that it's not just a straight border. It's a complex patchwork of territories. You see, within Barla Hertog, there are 22 small pieces of land that belong to the Netherlands, and within Barla Nassau, there are eight small enclaves of Belgium. It's like a jigsaw puzzle of national borders. Imagine living on a street where your front door is in one country, but your backyard is in another. Today, we're going to uncover the history, quirks, and curious tales of this border complex. So, fasten your seatbelts. This is going to be a remarkable journey. To understand the mind-boggling complexity of the Barla Hertog and Barla Nassau border complex, we need to take a step back in time. This intricate web of borders has roots that trace back centuries. Our story begins in the late medieval period when these lands were divided among different local lords and dukes. Over time, as the territorial lines were drawn, unique patterns emerged and these lines became the foundation of what we see today. One of the most significant historical events that played a role in shaping this border complex was the Treaty of Maastricht in 1843. This treaty sought to establish a clear boundary between the newly formed Belgium and the Netherlands after the Belgian Revolution of 1830. However, as we know, it didn't quite go as planned. The treaty was intended to set a firm border, but due to poor surveying and misunderstandings, it resulted in this intricate patchwork of enclaves and counter-enclaves. It's like a historical game of You're It, where nobody wanted to take responsibility for any one piece of land. These historical quirks have persisted through the years, leading to the modern-day border complex we see today. It's a testament to the enduring impact of history on the present. So let's dive even deeper into this fascinating web of borders. Now that we've uncovered the historical backdrop, Let's dive into the mind-bending intricacies of these borderlines. When I say intricate, I mean it. In this border complex, you can stroll through a single street and cross national borders more times than you can count. Take, for example, the famous Café Tchokski. This charming café is unique because it's situated right on the border. When you're inside, you're simultaneously in both Belgium and the Netherlands. You can sip your coffee in one country and enjoy your beer in another. And it's not just the café. Imagine living in a house where your kitchen is in Belgium, but your bedroom is in the Netherlands. This is the daily reality for some of the residents here. Border markers, or Grenzpollen, dot the landscape here, indicating the division between these two nations. And believe me, they can be quite tricky to decipher. These convoluted borderlines make Barla Hertog and Barla Nassau a true geographical wonder. As we continue to explore, you'll see how these borders influence daily life, from housing to businesses and even the local government. Stick around, you won't want to miss this. To truly grasp the uniqueness of the Barla Hertog and Barla Nassau border complex, we need to get to know the terms enclaves and exclaves. These terms are central to the puzzle. An enclave is a piece of land completely surrounded by the territory of another country. Conversely, an exclave is a part of one country's territory that's separated from the rest of the country and is entirely enclosed within another country. In our border complex, we have multiple examples of both enclaves and exclaves. Let's start with enclaves. Here, in Barla Hertog, we have this fascinating Belgian enclave, which is entirely surrounded by the Netherlands. It's like a small Belgian island within Dutch territory. 
and just a stone's throw away, in Barla Nassau, we have a Dutch exclave. This piece of Dutch land is an island within the Sea of Belgium. This is the stuff that makes geographers' heads spin. These enclaves and exclaves are a result of the historical quirks and border disputes, and they've created a landscape that's truly one of a kind. The next. Time you think about your country's borders. Remember this remarkable place where national lines blur and redefine what it means to be inside or outside a country. Now that we've explored the physical aspects of the border complex, let's delve into the legal and administrative side of things. Brace yourself because this is where things get even more complex. You see, living in a place with multiple border lines means that different rules, laws, and regulations can apply to various parts of the towns. It's like a legal maze. For instance, you might walk down a street where the speed limit changes as you cross a border. One side has Dutch traffic laws, and the other side has Belgian traffic laws. Or take taxes, for example. In one house, you might pay Dutch property taxes while your neighbor across the street pays Belgian property taxes. It all depends on which side of the border you're on. The administrative divisions here are equally intricate. Each part of the towns has its own local government, with separate mayors, councils, and even police forces. Can you imagine the coordination challenges? These administrative quirks have resulted in unique agreements and arrangements between the two municipalities. It's a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the people living in this border complex. It's an extraordinary example of how daily life can be shaped by the legal and administrative aspects of a border complex. So next time you think bureaucracy is confusing, just remember, it's nothing compared to Barla Hertog and Barla Nassau. Beyond its intriguing borders and unique lifestyle, the Barla Hertog and Barla Nassau border complex is also home to some remarkable tourist attractions and landmarks. One such attraction is the Zondereigen Park, located in the heart of the complex. It's a serene, picturesque park where you can enjoy a leisurely stroll or a peaceful picnic, all while straddling the Belgian-Dutch border. For history buffs, there's the Border Museum that provides a deep dive into the fascinating history of the border complex. You'll find artifacts, documents, and interactive displays that tell the story of the complex and its people. But the real attraction here is simply walking through the streets. Every corner, every turn, is an attraction in itself. Just wandering around, you'll encounter homes that exist in two countries at once, like pieces of living art. And let's not forget the vibrant town squares in both Barla Hertog and Barla Nassau. They are filled with charming cafes, restaurants, and shops, making them ideal places to relax and take in the unique atmosphere. So whether you're interested in the historical aspects, the natural beauty, or just the extraordinary everyday life, this border complex has something for everyone. It's a place where tourism and wonder go hand in hand. Remember that there's no place quite like this anywhere else in the world. It's a living testament to the power of history, borders, and the human spirit. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more unique adventures like this one. While the Barla Hertog and Barla Nassau border complex is fascinating, it's not without its challenges and controversies. Recent years have seen some disputes over specific border areas, particularly related to land use and infrastructure. There have been disagreements about which country should bear the cost of maintaining shared roads and utilities. Local governments have been working together to find solutions, and there's a shared recognition of the need to address these issues. It's a testament to the resilience of the community and their ability to adapt to changing circumstances. The Barla Hertog and Barla Nassau border complex serves as a real-world reminder that even in the face of intricate international borders, cooperation and diplomacy can prevail. It's a challenging puzzle, but one that continues to be worked on. As we approach the end of our journey, remember that the complexities of this border complex are not just a curiosity, but a testament to the human spirit's ability to adapt and coexist. It's a place where, despite the challenges, the community thrives. The people here embrace the uniqueness of their situation and celebrate it. It's a place where, despite the complexities, the spirit of unity prevails. As we wrap up our journey through the Barla Hertog and Barla Nassau border complex, let's take a moment to appreciate the profound cultural and economic impacts this unique border situation has had on these towns. One of the most remarkable aspects is the cultural fusion that has evolved over the years. 
the residents have created a shared identity that transcends national borders. You can see this in various cultural events and festivals that celebrate the diversity of both Belgian and Dutch traditions. The annual Barley International Festival is a fantastic example, where residents come together to showcase their rich cultural heritage. The economy here thrives as well, fueled by the border's unique nature. The town's shops and businesses often cater to an international clientele, embracing the complexity of the border as a selling point. Local markets and craft fairs offer a delightful blend of Belgian and Dutch products, making it a haven for show. Hers who want to experience the best of both worlds. This blend of cultures and the economic benefits of the border complex have made Barla Hertog and Barla Nassau a vibrant, dynamic place. It's a shining example of how diversity can foster creativity and prosperity. As we conclude, remember that borders, no matter how complex, can be bridges that connect people. The Barla Hertog and Barla Nassau border complex is a testament to the power of unity amidst diversity and a reminder that even the most intricate of borders can lead to rich cultural experiences and economic opportunities. Let's recap the key takeaways. We've explored the historical origins of this unique border, the mind-bending intricacies of enclaves and exclaves, the legal and administrative aspects, the colorful daily life anecdotes, the captivating tourist attractions, and the cultural and economic influences that have shaped these towns. My own impression of this place is one of awe and admiration. The people living here have turned what could have been a bureaucratic nightmare into a vibrant, diverse, and dynamic community. The Barla Hertog and Barla Nassau border complex is a living testament to the human spirit's ability to adapt, overcome challenges, and create unity amidst complexity. I hope this video has left you as fascinated and inspired as I am. Please share your thoughts about this remarkable border complex in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to LifeLens TV for more unique adventures around the world. Before we bid farewell, I want to take a moment to thank our wonderful viewers, both Christians and Muslims, for joining us on this journey through the Barla Hertog and Barla Nassau border complex. It's essential to acknowledge the diversity of our audience and the beauty of coming together, regardless of our backgrounds. The incredible stories and experiences we've uncovered in this video are a testament to the power of unity, mutual respect, and shared curiosity. It's a reminder that our world is a tapestry of cultures, beliefs, and traditions, and it's in embracing this rich tapestry that we truly thrive. So, to Christians and Muslims, and to every viewer, thank you for being a part of our community. Your perspectives and experiences enrich the conversations we have here. Keep exploring the world, keep celebrating our differences, and keep learning from one another. This is Life Lens TV, where we journey together to expand our horizons. Until next time, remember that we are one, and our shared curiosity knows no borders. I have been your host, Adam, and the director of this video has been Peter Tosh Williams. And good bay, see you in the next video.